What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, well, you've probably already seen it, basically um, why I've been gone for a while and what we've done. We have an actual shop now, which is pretty sick. Um, we also have a dog, six months old. He's a little shit, his name's Benji. He's a man. We've got Corvettes getting superchargers. We've got all kinds of cool stuff going on. So I just wanted to kind of show you all around. The shop is not perfect and there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's still moving out um, as kind of things are changing and uh, they pretty much change like every day still. Um, and I'm working with what I got. So we can kind of start at the entrance. I really can't show you the outside. It's kind of dark outside. And uh, yeah, you really can't see much. But coming in, we've got our heavy duty lift right here. Um, a little motorcycle. This is the heavy duty stall, um, the big lift. Um, and then we've got a really big bay door right here. Um, they are manual doors, none of them are electric. Uh, we got some lockers that they left, a lot of stuff was left. Um, we've got a two story loft here. Um, and this is a pallet elevator, so that actually comes down and you can take engines, transmissions, um, whatever. I had my motorcycle up there, Kyle had put it up there. I've um, got our Mobile One flag, Texas flag, and the US flag. Um, a lot of this stuff will be moving. Um, it's just stuff that, was, again, was kind of here. And then the uh, little dresser thing was in here kind of temporary. Got some tools. Um, got Kyle's engine on a stand. It's a 7M uh, GTE or whatever. So it's like the turbo six-cylinder, three-liter that Toyota had had in the Mark III's. Um, jack stand, cherry picker, transmission jack press i um, got a little cheap pipe bender thing um what else well I'll save or let's go upstairs it's got a full restroom with a shower which all that'll be getting painted and stuff so and then up here we've got um my tire collection um a bunch of intercooler piping exhaust piping stainless piping wiring harnesses for 240s um the winch this is a lot of storage up benji hey Stop eating that. And then over there, sorry. And then over here, we've got a lot of parts, a lot of Volkswagen stuff, um, some takeoff parts, and then we've got some stuff for the Corvette, um, my dra little drag pack, um, some stuff for my C10. Yes, I bought a C10. I'm um, the hood for the DSM down there, and then we've got a the hood for the Vet, and then here's the pallet elevator, which is pretty sweet. It's a little scary to operate, you know. She's a homemade deal Benji cut it out but yeah so we'll head on down here and we've got all the pipe or all the conduit ran in pipe that that one's kind of weird but they, these ones are good um, we've got the Talon that I built a Ford G63 for um, we ended up actually getting the car and throwing it in um, fired it up and stuff thing sounds pretty mean uh, just doing the Brembo brake conversion off of an Evo couple other small things and that car will hopefully be good to go um, these are a bunch of parts for that thing uh, mainly the brakes and then a lot of the stuff that that part was in pieces that's a story that car deserves a video on its own we've got the TIG welder MIG welder um, bottled gas um, some bolt bins um, a bunch of T clamps grinding wheels you know the typical like stuff like I don't know like little hose ties um, got some wiring stuff, mini fridge, and then we're not done buying tools yet, of course. We're still going to buy a bunch more tools. Um, and here, yep, here's the blower that's going on the Corvette. Um, oh, Jesus, that scared me. Um, we have an injector cleaner now and a little flow bench thing. Kind of show you all. So this thing is freaking sweet. Sorry, the light's a little hazy. I'll go with that angle. Um, you can basically go to ultrasonic bath back here and then um, a bunch of other settings. Um, so like in this case, everything's hooked up. Yep, I don't see why not. You can lock it so you can see how much the injectors are flowing. So, oh, oh, oh God, camera doesn't like that. But, um, but yeah, 
Um, these are some 850 uh, fuel injector clinics off of the Corvette that are going to be takeoffs. So that's really cool. And we can do four at a time, and then it also comes with dead plugs. That that can get a video of its own. This is going to be kind of like my little recording corner. Um, because I have some different ideas for some other like videos and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep, we're still like buying tools and buying a bunch of stuff. This thing's going to be totally outfitted. I'm pretty excited for it. Still got the little not a grom here. Uh, pretty dope little bike. But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing. There's a lot more of it to the story than that. Um, you know, without getting crazy personal, we moved out of our other house. Um, in November of last year, we bought this house. Um, it's a house from the 50s, um, and then it's got about, about an acre of land, and then we've got the shop and another barn. Um, but we literally were doing home repairs and, and home updating and renovations for probably about, I don't know, from, from literally like October or something, or, or maybe the very beginning of November, um, to all the way up until like February so I've been out here now for a little bit you know we got the lifts up we've installed everything ourselves and everything um, I've got some experience doing that just from like stuff at work and I know a good guy or, you know a good friend that does lift stuff um, and then the hardest part was just getting them because like everybody's out of stuff and the same thing with like um, a couple other tools like I want to get like a you know you'll just see tire machine balancer and that kind of thing but a lot of people are just out of them. And even if you can get them, um, you know, you want to get something half decent, um, which on a tire machine and stuff for me, uh, I don't care as long as it can protect wheels. Uh, it won't really matter to me as long as it, you know, as long as it protects wheels. Um, but yeah, there's actually still more stuff happening in the background that you guys will find out soon about. It's just stuff that, you know, I cannot just come out and be really open about immediately. But, but there's more stuff, and then um, as far as like a car update, still got the Skyline and all that. Um, and then I bought a 84 C10 off my brother-in-law, and I've done some stuff. I rebuilt the automatic uh, trans on it uh, right here a couple weeks ago. Um, and then I put like an O'Reilly's alternator on it, really cheap one, and it's it sounds like it smells like it's gonna catch on fire, so I need to take it off and go warranty that. I just haven't had a lot of time uh, between this and then juggling this car mainly uh that thing was like literally a couple boxes of bolts is that how the car got to me another mechanic pulled the engine we went and rebuilt the engine um delivered it to the customer uh and then uh yeah dude's kind of gone i don't really know the full story but i just kind of leave it be because being mad about it's not gonna solve your issues on it so you might as well just you know whatever let it slide it was a good experience it was uh, definitely a fire up that i was like i felt extremely accomplished about um and i'm kind of like filming a video on it a little bit too so you'll kind of see that but uh but yeah i didn't really want to make this super long and we're kind of getting up there but this is just an update now after this is gone i can start actually doing videos i've got a couple things planned planned and i've already start uh, started uh, recording a couple of them um but i really wanted to come out and at least show you guys what's up that way you don't just boom see a shop in the background i think what the hell happened um but yeah guys there's definitely some cool stuff coming and uh yeah actually there's another mitsubishi outside that uh, we've got to work on pretty soon so that'll be happening pretty pretty quickly here but all right guys that sounds good and uh thank y'all for subscribing and thank you for liking and thank you for all your support even though i've been kind of gone uh, i know how it how it kind of is but you know life happens and when you decide to up and move and, and drop literally everything from your perfectly good house and a new house at that to a house that's like 70 years old you're gonna run into some stuff and it's not nothing that we didn't know you know we literally planned on everything um that's happened to this point but we're at kind of a, a hold up on the house so some of that will still have to happen but like i said anyways guys thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for everything you guys have done um i try not to to ask or preach all crazy but i really do appreciate it and uh, and i'm excited to see what the uh, future holds and i think you guys are gonna like it so i'll talk to y'all later